So today I'm going to give you the four reasons why women often pull away after you guys have a hookup for the first time and what you can do to make sure that she doesn't completely lose her feelings altogether and continues to want to date you. And this is a phenomenon, by the way, that happens quite often because let's face it, sex is a very intense act whereby two people are coming together and connecting their bodies and bonding. And so with that, there are things that unbeknownst to men, we typically tend to do or that women typically tend to see from men that could cause them to pull away. And if you're not careful, she may pull away for good. So let's go ahead and get into this. By the way, if you have a question you want answered on one of these shows, leave a comment down below or write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. And to further your education, you can join my Get Girls Academy, which you can find more information about at harrywilmington.com. So let's go into this. So I found a comment from a guy that left the following comment about a situation he's going through. And he said, my girl is pulling away right now. She chased me, pursued, and always reached out. Once we slept together and started getting more and more intimate, she began to pull away. On top of that, she started a new job. I'm doing my best to give her space and not to reach out. Her birthday was next week, and I tried to see if she wanted to get together, but she already had plans for a trip with her friends. So now I think the best thing to do is just pull back and wait. So guy, first I wanna say, you are not the first guy that has come to me and said he was dating a girl, they hooked up, and then she started to pull away. Like I said, this is a common phenomenon that happens. And so I don't know the totality of your situation. From here, I can only speculate what could have possibly gone on, but I do wanna give you the four reasons why this typically happens, and maybe this will align with what you've experienced and gone through, and it could help you out, all right? So to start off with, I have found that more often than not, a lot of guys, once they hook up with a woman, for them, it feels as though they've reached the finish line. Like the goal was to get the hookup, and if I get the hookup, then that means that she really likes me and she's ready for our relationship. And so a lot of guys take it like that, and unbeknownst to us, what we start to do is, after we hook up with a girl, we start treating her as if we're already in a relationship. We start looking at her as if she's already the girlfriend, and with that, comes some mistakes. We start texting a bit more. In our intimate moments after we're done, we start talking about feelings and how much we like her and how we're so glad that she's in our lives. We start trying to plan out a future with her. And these are things that you probably were not doing before you hooked up with a girl, but at the point that sex comes into play, it can very much feel to a guy like this is now what's supposed to happen. As if to say, because we had sex, I now have to treat this like a relationship. And this is a dangerous way to think about it, especially if you're only like three or four dates in, because it takes women on average two to three months to really solidify their feelings for you and make a decision about if they want you as the boyfriend. And where guys get tripped up is we think for, for women that at the point they have sex with us, they've also already chosen us as their potential like long-term boyfriend. In part because we hear this mantra about women not want it, wanting to just be used for sex. So if we hook up with a woman, we think, well, she doesn't wanna be used just for sex, therefore, if she's having sex with me, she must really be ready for a relationship. And as I've stressed before on this show, for women, sometimes having sex with you is just part of the figuring out process. Like they're hooking up with you in order to add that to the list of reasons why they would potentially want you as a boyfriend but that does not mean that they've made that choice. So I say this because as a guy, you have to be really careful that you're not being thrown off balance and thinking that you're farther ahead with attracting her than you actually are just because you hooked up. So if you notice that you hooked up and then you're cuddling and you're starting to talk about futures and feelings and likes and stuff like that, then those things are things that if a woman's not there yet, it can make it feel to her like you're getting too serious too soon. And if her feelings are not yet at that level, she's gonna think that things are a bit off balance because she's thinking, how could you feel so much stuff for her after only three or four dates simply because you guys hooked up? So you have to ask yourself, were you having conversations with her or saying things to her that indicated that you were having feelings or that there was a future that you were seeing together? If you did, this could be the start of why she pulled away. The second reason why women will oftentimes pull away after hookup is honestly because of what I just talked about in part one. Women 
have a history of dating guys and hooking up with them and then seeing those same guys that were once stoic guys, that were being masculine guys, that were a bit of a mystery and a bit of surprise to them, suddenly become these gooey, mushy guys that wanna talk about feelings and romance and love. And because most women have experienced this with guys time and time again, at the point that they come to you, they think that you could potentially be the same way. So sometimes, after a couple of good hookups, a woman will start to kind of pull away in part just to see if you're gonna become that guy because she doesn't want you to become that guy. She doesn't want you to become the guy that's gonna get all mushy and talk about feelings, but she knows there's a chance you could be. And there's also a chance on her end that if she happens to not talk to you for a few days, you're gonna get rattled, you're gonna become upset, you're gonna start sending her all these texts about why aren't you texting me and I knew you were a SOB and all this other stuff. And so, and again, that's because women have gone through that in their dating experience. So sometimes there, it might go from like, you notice she had a high level of interest and was doing all the things to where she decides to take a bit of a break and maybe not talk to you for like a day or two, all right? And that's just to see if you're gonna get thrown off. So when this happens, the worst thing you could do is to try to chase after her and try to come at her full force and try to re-engage her. This is not the time for that. You should be attending to your business, hanging out with your other friends, going after your other goals, and not making her the strong focal point of your life. I think too early on, too many guys start making the woman they're dating the complete focal point, and that's when women start to get freaked out and they start to pull away a bit. But if you're able to show that if she's not around, you're still living your life, you're still seeing other people, you're still going out there doing the things you need to do, you're still taking your downtime for yourself, then that'll let a woman reassess what's going on and she'll realize, oh, this guy's not gonna be one of those guys that gets overly obsessed or jealous and so therefore, I was tripping, I wanna see him again. The third reason that women oftentimes pull away after a hookup is because, let's be real, the hookups weren't that great. And most women early on in the dating process aren't gonna tell you that to your face. So what they'll do instead is, let's say they hook up with you one time, they might think, okay, it wasn't that great, but you know, it's the first time, we don't know each other's bodies like that, so I'll give them a couple more shots. And then after a couple more times, the hookups don't get any better, and women early on can be very bad at voicing how displeased they are with the sexual experience that you gave them. And so rather than tell that to your face, they'll just kind of start to back away, you know? And so I typically will tend to do surveys. I, I know it sounds weird, but like, not that I'll do it like on the first hookup, but usually after that first or second hookup, I'll start asking questions like, so like, what things do you actually like in bed? Do you like it when I do this? What kind of things do you not like? Is there anything that I'm doing that I could be doing better or things I need to just take away altogether? Because I have no ego about the hookup experience because I want, all the parties involved to be pleased. So I wanna make sure that I'm pleasing her and I know that they're not gonna oftentimes wanna voice things to me early on, so I'll just go ahead and ask, like, hey, so that was great, so hey, I, I noticed when I was doing this thing, your body reacted this way, did you like that? Should I do more of it? Should I do less of it? And, 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 and women typically tend to appreciate that because most guys aren't really asking them, which to women feels as though men only care about their sexual satisfaction and not the woman's. And so as you're able to ask those questions, you'll become a better lover for one, but also women will see that you're really in this to try to please them and they'll stick around even if the sex isn't initially all that great, knowing that you're trying to put in the work to make it better. And then the fourth reason that women tend to pull away is because like I said earlier, Hooking up with you is a big deal. It's bodies connecting, emotions are getting heightened, and so at the point that you start to hook up with the woman, she starts to realize, oh, if we're hooking up, there's a potential for this to get serious, and do I want that with this guy? Is my assessment of this guy up to this point one that's leading me towards wanting to continue to see him or wanting to kind of back away? And so what women will do sometimes is they'll start to pull away just to give themselves time to really assess and reassess how they're feeling about you, if they wanna to continue to give their bodies to you, and if you're the kind of guy that up to this point, she could potentially see a future with. And so she's gonna pull away, she's gonna take time to kind of think about how you've been on dates, some of the things that you've said, the experiences that she's had with you, and if she's seeing you every single day, she doesn't get a chance to just sit with herself and really think about how she's actually been feeling about you and your experience thus far. And so women need that. Women need time to get away from you to be able to really see if they, A, if they wanna see you longer, but also to assess things, and then also to see how they feel. Like, do they feel like they're really missing you if you're not around? 
And that's a hard feeling to decipher if they're around you all the time. So they, it may go from like, you're, you date, gone on three or four dates, you've hooked up with her one or two times, and then all of a sudden she's kind of quiet for a little bit. That could be a bad signal, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna discount that she could be losing interest, but also, also, it could very well be, you know, inviting a new person into your life and trying to fit them in is an exercise of its own that can be very pressurizing and it can feel as though it's it's a big mental task. And so sometimes women need to try to take a step back to see, do I even want this guy in my life long term? Do I really see a future with him? Do I like what I've experienced? And she needs to sit with herself and feel those things because women are primarily gonna base their decisions on their emotions. So they need to feel and assess and then feel again to see what they think about you. And then the time that she's not with you, that gives her time to feel, but do I even miss this guy when he's not around? And so all these things ultimately are things that are going to be positive in terms of her being able to decide if her feelings are matching what she's thinking about you and if she wants to be with you long term. So those are primarily the four reasons why women pull away sometimes after hooking up with you a few times. And so what can you do in this situation? Well, for one, the fact that you're, you're kind of like sitting back and pulling away, that's actually good because that's going to give her the time that she needs. And also that allows her to see that you're not so desperate for her, that you're gonna be clingy and begging and needy when she's not around, all right? Uh, by the way, also you mentioned that her birthday was coming up next week. If she is not yet the girlfriend, and from your comments, it sounds like you guys were just dating, but you weren't officially in a relationship. My general stance is that until she becomes the girlfriend, you don't celebrate any major milestones with her. I'm talking holidays and birthdays, because those are things that make it feel more like a relationship. So assuming you guys just started dating, she probably did already have plans with her friends on that day that did not include you, and nor should they, because she doesn't know you enough yet, and you shouldn't be meeting her friends at this point because until you're the, you're the boyfriend, that's really more of an exercise that would happen at that point in time when she sees you as definitely her person, at which point she'll wanna dole you out to other people. But in the meantime, her birthday coming up and her not wanting to see you because she's with friends, that's actually perfectly fine and normal. Don't take offense to that. But in terms of what you should be doing, you're already pulling away, that's great. I would say wait a few days after her birthday to contact her again, and when you do, you should only be contacting her to ask for a date. We're not doing all these extra texts that have that are just miscellaneous and don't have to do with anything. You want to keep your text to, you know, asking her on a date and planning when that's going to happen. And then beyond that, make sure you're only seeing her once a week, twice a week at the most, but early on in the dating process, you should really only be seeing her once a week until such a time as she starts inviting you out for more days, all right? So this will allow you to give her the space that she needs to be able to think about you, to feel about you, and to miss you enough to want to see you again. And then at that point, as she's missing you, she'll start to contact you more to ask you out on dates, at which point she will be coming towards you. And as I always say, if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. But I don't want you to make the mistake of thinking that just because you guys hooked up, that she's already chosen you. It is still gonna be a two to three month process. So understand that until that third month comes, there should be no talk of relationships, and more importantly, there should be no actions from you that indicate that you're already in a relationship. Because I know you're probably thinking, but Harry, I haven't asked for a relationship. But the reality is, women are feelings-based people. They can feel when a shift changes. So however you were, before the hookup, if she can start to feel that you're trying to be more relationshipy after the hookup, then trust me, she's already thinking and feeling as though you're treating this like a relationship, and that's not what this is for. The dating phase is designed to show off why potentially there could be a relationship, but you actually giving relationship conversations and talking about feelings and stuff like that are not things that you should be doing, and it could cause her to be chased off for good if you're not careful. So hopefully, some of what I said has helped you out. For the rest of you guys, if you have a question you'd like to ask me on one of these shows, write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com or leave a comment down below. I would love to answer your question. And by the way, guys, I have found that most of the time, men really do struggle with relationships simply because they are not well-versed in the ins and outs of how attraction works. They might not be aware of how communication with women works, and ultimately, they don't 
have a true pathway forward on what to do in order to land the women of their dreams. And so you can learn all these skills in my, in my course, the Get Girls Academy, which you can find at harrywilmington.com. It is chock full of some of my absolute best programs that are designed to teach you various facets of the dating game so you can get a leg up and ultimately get the women that you desire. So you can check out that program at harrywilmington.com. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Harry Wilmington. Be sure to give this video a like and a subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Peace.